You probably know of math as the typical boring subject from school which you prepared for and got marks at the end of an exam. But math is so much more than that. It's a way of life. Very soon, one of the most important skills an individual could have is that of complex problem solving. And mathematics, with its strong framework in logic and reasoning, imbibes this skill in any individual. And we at QMath are equipping children right from KG right up to grade 8 to build this strong math foundation. We have a multi-format learning system which includes workbooks, tabs, puzzle cards and build this strong foundation in mathematics for children. We are excited to introduce one more addition to our math learning system, the math box. The math box has a lot of interesting games and toys and learning aids that can be used to explain concepts in a more concrete way to children. This helps in building great engagement for kids and explain concepts to them in a more meaningful way. Let's look at the power of the math box. In school, students are often asked to memorize properties of solid shapes. Shapes like spheres, cylinders, cubes, cones, etc. For some reason, they are expected to memorize formulae of the surface area of a cylinder, which is 2 pi r, r plus h. They are never given an opportunity to explore these shapes and discover these formula for themselves. So how would a QMAT teacher go about helping a student discover this formula? Kids are given this to really understand how the shape works. So here you see that the cylinder is actually composed of a rectangle and two circles which means that the surface area of a cylinder will simply be an addition of all these surface areas. As you can see that the length of this rectangle was simply the circumference of the circle that forms the top and bottom parts of the cylinder. So that's simply 2 pi r and the breadth is the height of the cylinder which is h. So the area of the rectangle is 2 pi r h. Add that to the two circles which are simply the top and bottom faces of the cylinder which is pi r square and another pi r square. So the surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h or 2 pi r r plus h. Our education system teaches children how to manipulate decimals and calculate decimals. But we never really explain to kids what decimals really are. Talk to any set of grade 5 kids and ask them if 0.19 uh, and 0.2 between the two of them which one is greater and you'd realize that a lot of them get this question wrong because in their heads they are thinking 19 is greater than 2 that means that 0.19 is probably greater than 0.2 and we know that this is wrong at QMath with the help of various learning aids children build strong conceptual understanding and are able to answer such questions properly let's take a 10 cross 10 grid uh, something we call flat and consider it one single unit now let's take uh, something what we call a rod which is 10 cross 1 right and then we take something called a block which is just 1 cross 1 now this is 10 on a total surface area of 100 so this is 10 by 100 or 0.1 and this is one block on a total of 100 blocks so it's 1 by 100 that's 0 0.01 so if I had to build 0.2 on this system I would take two rods and I would essentially have 20 on 100, right? And this gives me 0.2. Now, if I have to build 0.19, I will have to take one rod, which gives me 10, and I will have to take nine small blocks. So I have 19 blocks here on a total of 100, which gives me 19 by 100 or 0.19. Now visually, a child can clearly see that this is greater than this, right? So 0.2 is greater than 0.19 and they will never make that mistake again. Every QMAT teacher has this math box with her. So for almost every concept that a child covers in school, there's a learning aid in this math box to help them discover that idea. Instead of just mugging up formulae and facts, they actually see that concept in action. This is how QMath brings out the why behind the what. I wish we had all learned math this way.